Welcome to the AR Inquiry. The AR Inquiry has two different features. One that gives us the accounts receivable information from this field, the customer field, all the way to the type. You can see the money that is owed to the company, accounts receivable. From this field, the C and S field, the customer and ship to field, you can find the account number. Let's go ahead and find an account number. Please place a C in the small field and move to the name field. You can start by placing a few characters in the name and hitting enter and then control. Please notice the date. The date is the last sold date. Ahold was sold on 12-12-31, year, month, day, December 31st of 2012. Notice the account number 12993. Ahold, this is the bill to. This is where the invoice goes. To find the detailed information, you can use these small characters to find more information. If you're an accounting person, you can update it. If you were in sales, you just want to display it. This is general information on Ahold. Their credit line, the balance, the available credit, if they have open orders pending to go to them, if they have AR invoices to approve, their last payment, the date of their last payment. Please notice the date here. It has an extra character. We call that the century code. The century code is always implied if you don't see it. Anything after the year 2000 has a 1. Anything prior to 99 and before is 0. Here's the total AR. This is everything account number 12993 owes us 36,000. F7 to get out. If we want to see more details about our hold, we can place an S next to the account number and draw the information back to the receivable side. Let's review the receivable side. This right here, that's a small message field. The message is pertaining to the customer. If you place an M here, this message is pertaining to this particular invoice. A message for the customer, a message for the invoice. Notice the M? There's a message related to this invoice, and it can be viewed by placing a small m here. F7 to get out. This is the ship to location. This is the purchase order and the invoice. The salesperson, the date the invoice was confirmed or shipped, which is 11-14-2012. This is an I, and the I represents the invoice. A P represents a payment. If the P and the payment has a negative, it means they're giving us money. If the P is a positive, that means they're deducting. Notice the balance. And they're deducting for, it could be a return, it could be a pricing issue. And that's where accounting will review and either adjust it or bill them back. Notice these. Notice the date here. This date means it's 20 days old. This invoice is past due 14 days. If a customer has terms and their terms are net 30, an invoice will go on the accounts receivables books, but it'll start at negative 30. This is past due, this is past due. Notice the negative three, it's going to be due in three days. These codes can be found in the FAQ and you can do various different things. You can fax the invoice, you can look at the details of the invoice status which will show you their proof of delivery. You can make an adjustment. Say we were adjusting this off and it was a pricing. We can make an adjustment as an accounting person. These are the function letters in the AR inquiry. What I'd like you to do now is I'm going to bring us back over to the other side because I want you to view the ship twos on our hold and see how many ship twos. So we place an S for ship twos or, or store locations. And we put the account number here. And we clear the name and hit right control. They have two different locations. You can view the details. Notice the characters at the bottom here. You can view the details and just find out information if there are restrictions, if they have any. Or you can add restrictions, such as any small packages, UPS, if it's under 40 cases. F7. And that's the overview of the AR inquiry.